Hello and welcome to today's meditation. It's on loneliness. My cat is here. I think she may be a little lonely. So, sorry, my cat interrupts. Um, yeah, so loneliness can be a gateway to self-compassion. These days, it's pretty cold out up here in the north in Canada. And sometimes, you know, we have a feeling of isolation or separation. Um, that could be a perception, could be real combination. And sometimes we go into like a spiral of this, like it can become sad or seasonal affective disorder. But what if we were to change our perspective to say that aloneness, aloneness can be a place of peace and beauty and dignity? <laughs> Um, this, these colder days can be a time for uh, inner reflection, for growth. But maybe, maybe you do have some intense craving, some craving to be truly and deeply loved, like my beautiful cat here, um, to be heard and seen and understood by someone or some people. And... Perhaps the loneliness comes with like an aversion of being abandoned. You know, it could be real or imagined. Sometimes in these cold seasons, we forget we even have friends. We have to remember we have friends and then re-remember we have friends and we can reach out to them through text or voicemail or, you know, however you reach out, picking up the phone because we get lost in our routines, our winter routines and, you know, the waves of COVID doesn't, doesn't help. So, yeah. And sometimes we crave like a new partner or crave new friends, you know, and we take, we take what we have for granted. So we'll look at that in the contemplation today. And um, we'll try to reset a little bit to gratitude, things like that. And yeah, so let's, let's get comfortable. And we'll just orient to stillness. So settling into our practice. You're not alone. I'm with you and other people are watching this maybe in the future as well. So we time travel when we practice together. Feeling into the cushion. Any feelings of support where you are. And speaking of loneliness, are you able to feel where the loneliness resides in the body? And just placing the hands wherever that may be, where the loneliness is inside you, different for everyone. And just breathing tender love into that area. Being a loving companion to yourself. And receiving any messages of love from yourself. Just 
just letting that warmth, those sensations radiate. When we think to the people in our lives, maybe we've closed our heart a little bit to them. So you can put your hand on your heart if you like. Just thinking about opening our heart, softening our heart. Just a tiny bit more. Or maybe you have the capacity to open it a little bit more. And do we take the people around us for granted? Maybe our neighbors at the shops, our friends. Do we miss some chances to connect along our bus route, our morning commute, or wherever we travel? Is it possible to smile and say, Bonjour, or hello, whatever language is in your area. And thinking about our closest people who may annoy us sometimes. Could we reflect something we're grateful for about them? And feeling into those sensations of gratitude. I'm thanking our hearts also for keeping us safe and protected. Sometimes the heart needs to harden. We're closed. And it's I'm trying to do its job, keeping us safe and protected. And gratitude to that. You're here. Alive. And is it possible to become a companion to our own selves? What would that look like or feel like? And is it possible to make friends with our solitude if we, if we are unable to reach out to those around us? Can we befriend our solitude?
And can we pendulate loneliness with music or podcasts, books, movies? What, what do we use to pendulate our loneliness? Reflecting on what feels more wholesome and healthy for us. Then is it possible to remember that this winter loneliness is not permanent? throughout our day, our week, our month, the season. The loneliness waves up and down, passing. And coming back to the body, notice any uncomfort, dis- discomfort, pain, and feeling into any tension. Just moving, supporting with hands. Coming back to breath or sound. feeling what's underneath you. Letting yourself become conscious of loneliness. The sensations. And opening your eyes if it feels good. Looking around your space. Resting your eyes on something pleasant. Letting the sensations of that flow through your body. Slowly coming back home to yourself. Sitting in solitude together. Stretching the spine up and sitting sitting in your dignity. being an ally to yourself, to your body, 
to your loneliness. And we'll rest in the breath and sound or touch for the next couple minutes before we'll end with some self metta. And adjusting slightly for the metta, making yourself comfortable, maybe lying down. May I be happy. May I be healing. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer danger. May loneliness leave my body. May fear leave my body. May anxiety leave. Or lessen. May I invite ease into this precious body. May I invite ease into this busy mind. And may the causes and conditions for my happiness and peace and well-being grow. And may I grow my capacity for joy. Thanks for joining me and my cat today. She's been sitting there watching us. Um, underneath, I put some meditations that can continue to support you if you want to continue your practice today they're on gratitude and softening and curiosity and um yeah and think about those things that support you that pendulate your loneliness like be them books or music texts 
friends, movies, and just really support yourself in your loneliness. Like, feel that wave back and forth because it's, it's not permanent even though it feels like it. And I also encourage you to find a sangha that you connect with. There are many sanghas at True North Insight, or there's all sorts of, of Buddhist sanghas. Um, and maybe your sangha is like an ice hockey team. But in the winter months, like connect with a community, a group of people. It could be just three other people. A sangha is four people. So I wish you luck with finding and connecting with others. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for your practice.